This video will take you through some example calculations for the inverse square law of light. Recall that qualitatively, the inverse square law says that a light source farther away is fainter. More exactly, the flux from a light source drops off as the distance squared. You can also write this in standard physics symbolic notation, but in this video, we will just write out each quantity verbally. Here is the first example. A light source of apparent brightness, 72 lux, is 16 meters away. What would be its brightness from a standard distance of 100 meters away? Read the problem taking note of the relevant quantities. Notate what is being asked for. Visualize to predict what the answer might be. In this case, because we have an unknown brightness at a much larger distance, we would expect that the answer would be a lot lower than the known brightness at a closer distance. We write out the equation in symbolic form. We algebraically solve for the unknown. We plug in and make sure to include the units for each quantity. Finally, we reread the problem and check that our answer is sensible. Here is the second example. A light source of standard brightness, 84,000 lux, at a standard distance of 10 kilometers, is observed to have an apparent brightness of 3,600,000 lux. What is its actual distance? We read the problem carefully, taking note of the relevant quantities. We notate what is being asked for. We can already anticipate the answer to be a shorter distance, 
because the observed flux is a lot higher than the standard flux. We set up the equation for the inverse square law. We solve for the unknown algebraically. The notation SQRT stands for square root. We plug in with units to get our answer. Finally, we reread the problem and check that our answer is as anticipated. 